So this is just a video to show that um, Snow Breeze 2.0 does work. See, I have an iPhone 3G. It's running on 4.1. Sorry about the video quality. I usually record my phone or things on screen, but I am not jailbroken right now. So this is primarily for the people who are saying that they can't jailbreak their iPhone 3G. I'm guessing it's the same with iPod Touch 2G. Um, this is not to show you how to jailbreak because there's already videos of that. I find it pointless to make a repeat video. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll put the description in the bottom to Dino Zombas or D7's YouTube account because he explains all that. He explains it much more be better detail than I would. But this is for people who are saying that iReb is not working and you cannot um upgrade to a custom firmware in order to get iReb working you need to get this screen on your phone or device waiting for custom firmware or else it will not work and if you do not get this hold down the home and power button again put it in DFU mode don't do it through iReb just have the iTunes logo appear iTunes in the plug open iReb again and follow the instructions again and you should get this because I've been testing it out and that's how I get this alright so I jailbroke it, unjailbroke it and jailbroke, I'm gonna jailbreak it again right now see and I already have my custom firmware since I already did this so I'm gonna shift restore on iTunes find your custom firmware if you do it through Snowbreeze it'll be called Snowbreeze underscore iPhone Okay, open it. Let me check my video capture. Alright, so let me see how I can get this better. You can see here this is my window to see what I am recording. Alright, see, and there it goes with the um custom boot logo. And to get this you could change that again through Snow breeze. All this is done through Snow Breeze. It's just this video is for iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G of how to get to this point through iRed. You need to have the ready for custom firmware logo on your screen, or else it will not work. It'll look how dirty my phone is. And yes, so I'm gonna well. Yes, this part takes long, so I'll pause the video here. Or I could rant, I guess, if you like, and you could just skip. I don't really know what to rant about, but... Headphones, yes. I see this all the time. People... Oh, shit, I hate this camera. People who don't have Apple devices, but carry around Apple headphones. Because they obviously don't know how shitty those things are. They break within a couple of freaking you days or uses and I personally like any other headphones besides Apple headphones especially since they're a piece of crap they break um, the little connection thing at the bottom it always breaks and the headphone the rubber around it breaks and then they lose volume quality fast so see these are ten dollars more and they're in-ear headphones they're great they're Titan skull candy these are my personally my favorite that I've ever gotten so far. And I don't know, I just think it's ridiculous looking when you have a CD player or a Walkman or any other MP3 player with Apple headphones because first of all, you don't have an Apple head you don't have an Apple device. And then secondly, Apple headphones just suck. So see my phone is going just to show you. And I have to make sure not to make this video too long or else it won't all fit. But I don't even know if you could hear me since my crappy microphone slash webcam. This thing right here sucks. So, yeah. Uh, well, I'll pause the video right now and see how long this takes. Actually, no, I don't want to pause the video because then I have to video edit again.
So I don't know. God, this takes forever. See, actually, I think I will have to pause the video because after this, you know, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'll just put a little description saying skip it if you want to hear me rambling on. It's halfway and I have five minutes. So I should be good. Alright. So yeah. Right now I'm using a different phone since it took me a couple of tries to figure out how to finally jailbreak it. Actually the first time I jailbroke it, it was on accident because it's on 4.1, so I kept trying the iRed, but yeah, that went through. And again, sorry if you can't hear me because I keep moving away from the microphone, and this microphone, like I said, sucks. But yes, and then the second time I jailbroke it again, kind of got to figuring out how, and then the third time I figured out that you have. It works best if you get the actual um, iTunes logo and the um, USB cable on your screen and then do iRev. That's that's how I got it to work uh, all three times. And what was I going to say? Damn. I have the worst memory ever. Oh yes, well anyways, this is almost done. Let's see. My phone is dirty, who cares? Ah, oh, damn, I hate this recording part. Well, anyways, I still have approximately three minutes, and this is still going, so maybe I will need to pause. I will pause, because this thing seems to be taking its time. And I don't know if I have time. Fucking shit, I hate this webcam. Focus, 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 focus. Focus! Alright, so if it gets past 8 minutes, I will pause. And then I will have to video edit, click. Clip the video and edit it, yes. Alright, well, I'm going to pause right now because it's pissing me off. Alright, so that one's faster and here it is. Booting up again, hopefully. There's no more booting up or loading. If I forgot, I'm sorry. Well, you don't even need to be watching the video anymore because you already saw that I put a custom firmware on my 3G. That's basically what the video is about. So you need to have this screen minus the slide to the slide for emergency. My phone is going to activate in a minute. There it's reading my cellular network and shit. Alright, see? Waiting for activation. This may take some time. iPhone is activated. Alright, there we go. Slide to unlock. Edit home screen. Dismiss that. And there we go. Shit, hold on, hold on. I think this is as clear as my camera gets. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Alright, so there you can see Cydia. I'm not going to open it right now because it will have to reload. Just to prove it. Ah, oh, damn. Setting. general about iPhone AT&T 000 14.3 14.2 4.1 right here see 4.1 and there's Cydia alright so that's how you jailbreak a 3G and iPod Touch 2G using iRev you have to get the um, waiting for custom recovery logo firmware logo on here and yes now I'm gonna go put stuff back on my phone